Hey everybody, it's Ozo and Ant. Eagle Eye Pie. We are here outside the Dueling Peaks stable. There's the lovely Dueling Peaks there with the uh, maestro and the stable trotters who wanted to try to get across the river to go visit the Great Ferry. And in between episodes, I finished up building a raft, which I think is going to do solve the problem, but I'm not terribly certain. Uh, but we'll just have to give it a try, try talking to them and see what happens. Yeah, we'll see if it works. Yeah, see if it works. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed for us. The bridge uh, is the bust, but I thought it might not be so hard to cross the river. I see now that I was mistaken. I have absolutely no idea what to do. There we go. Hop in. I'll take you. Yeah, yeah. Such joy, elation, the very words I've been waiting for. Everyone, get on board before he changes his mind. <laughs> yep, see, there we go. That worked. Now let's hope the boat I built is actually sufficient to do it. Yay. Not, oh, wow, that's a perspective. Wow. Ending. That's interesting indeed. Not very much on the maneuverability. But it seems to work just fine. Great fairy! Yeah, yeah. Places, everyone! Places! The great fairy needs us! I, why am I channeling um, Mr. Rourke? <laughs> <laughs> places, everyone! Places! It'd be nice to see, hear the music when they get all four of them together. Pretty, oh so pretty. <laughs> and rainbowy. Yeah. Yahoo! Oh, oh we done it! Ah. Yelza, I think my heart might just picked up the tempo. <laughs> the musical stylings of the stable trotters are the cure for anyone's malaise. Yeah, yeah. Thank you once again. I've prepared a token of thanks so substantial that I hope your pockets are double stitched. You deserve every last bit of it. Yay. Nice. All right, we finally got enough to cover all the money we spent at the last Great Fairy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now that my own pockets are lighter, I can concentrate on the performance. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud to say that the great fairy Kotera is at peace. Nice. But she wasn't the last great fairy still shut away in her flower, flower bed. Nope, one more. Yeah, yeah. That's why we must be off at once to visit the next great fairy. I do not remember where she is. I thank you for your invaluable assistance. Oh, what a feeling. That first breath of fresh air. It's just so intoxicating. The beat of the drum has lit a fire deep in my heart. Mm. And what about you? Can you feel the heat? Are you ready for more? Oh, I'm ready for more. <laughs> Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do. But I will need the necessary materials. <laughs> With the power available to me, I can greatly enhance your clothing. Shall we do it or move on? I think I might have a piece or two. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the high Lee and gear. But honestly, I mean, that's going to add a lot of armor. Yeah, yeah, so go for it. It's going to take 20 amber, which is a lot, but we've got mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm hmm. I want to see the animation. Wow, 200 rupees for each one, for each piece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They still have the same kind of cringy accosting animation. You yeah. Know? 
There, take it. Ah. Do you want me to enhance any more of your clothes? Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, we've only got a couple mm -hmm. more. I don't have right. a lot of materials for the other things. Let me that, do my thing. That's what I learned after enhancing the, the, that the last time with the Great Fairy is I'm missing a, a lot, lot of those material. ancillary materials. You know, yeah. the hot, warm safflina, the cool safflina, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. Oh, I don't have enough of something. Oh, the, I don't. Black Bok Goblin horns? You need five Black Bok Goblin horns. Wow. So that's all I can do then. Mm -hmm. I have one more sister. If you reinvigorate her as well, I'll have them power to enhance your clothes even more. Ah! I hear that my big sister, Kesa, is at a stable near the Gerudo region. Sorry, to the we west. Had one. I do. I think I do. She's. See you later. Okay. Ah! I, I think she is um, actually out in um, the, the one out in front. Um, of Gerudo Town, or the... the 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 little out post. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to the say. The Car Car Bazaar. Yeah. <laughs> Car Car Bazaar. Yeah, that's the name. It's the Car Car Bazaar. Yeah. Because that's. Oh, fun. Dance and Danger Wizard. Yeah, but we don't need that. No. Well, um, what are we gonna do now? I mean, we hadn't thought this far ahead. No, <laughs> we've done all the things that were on our list. Um. You know what? Let's go up here and uh, free the Akala Tech Lab because there's monsters at the Akala Tech Lab. Okay. Uh, when we we were also here. need to get the Master Sword at some point. Yeah. Do you want to try that? Try going into the the forest. We have we we don't know what it's going to take, but we can try. Yeah. Why don't we try that? All right. It's gonna. It's it's. Um, gonna take us a while to do, so it might take us a couple of episodes. Yeah, because we'll have to figure out the trick. Yeah. There's a trick to getting through the forest. Yeah, and we haven't done any research. No. Nope. So it's gonna take us a lot of failing. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Because, I mean, last time we knew what to do, and it still took us a couple of failings. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. What? And that thing falling. Oh. Well, shall we just take a ride up? Well, sure. Because we need to go up here. We can okay. just take a ride up and fly. Alrighty. I wonder what would happen if you happen to be right underneath one. Oh, well, it didn't go very far. No. I kind of expected it to go farther. Yeah, no, it, it falls off of this because there was a... Uh, chest up here oh. and that that uh, shrine was all about like oh I never did rewinding bring out, stuff or something like that I never did bring out my uh, sages nope go get your friends well I do want to little and, playmate Tulin really gets on my nerves sometimes but he is really good for this Yes. Yeah, we could check out a horse and go flying up here, but... Why? Oh. That's an Aracuda. Yes. With a chest. Oh. And remember, you still need pictures. Oh, you're right. Well... Is that gonna... Add it to something? Oh, no. I've already got that one. Yeah. And it's a better picture. Yeah, it is. Ouch! That hurt. That's a pretty bad one. Yeah, it's, I think it's a black one. Mm -hmm. Oh, now he... Oh, he, he can swim. Yeah. Oh. He's gonna spit water at me. I can't attack him while I'm swimming. Fortunately, he's all focused on you know though or something. Ooh. Oh, and you've got a other little friend just sitting there, there waiting for you. Oh, and somewhere there's the chest that that the Arakuda was carrying. Oh yeah. They're all flowing down river. 
But where is the chest that the Arrokuda was carrying? It'll be up on top of the thing, I think. On top of the ledge. Will it? Yeah. I thought it went into the water. Oh. oh, yeah, there it is. Never mind. Ignore me. Except... You're too far away? I'm too far away. That... Oh. Just barely. There we go. That was just barely. Mm. Ah, uh, that's not worth it. Well, I mean, it's a one-hit kill. All right. Well, let's eat something. I don't know that I need any more sneaky. Eat some of your. Eat some of this stuff. Oh yeah, that's that stuff I just picked up. All right, that's good enough. That's good enough. Oops, I ran completely out. Mm -hmm. Am I going in the right direction? No. Gosh. Not my fault. Oh, come on. You're eagle eyes. You're supposed to keep an eye I'm, out. I this never claim kind of to stuff. be the map reader. Okay, I hereby designate you as the map, 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 map reader. <laughs> I gave her the little crucifix cross sign, you know, to bless her as, <laughs> as the map reader. <laughs> uh, well, that that's a bad choice. I thought I was doing the right thing by going toward the uh, the all the the uh, what is it? All the gloom, around, but it was all the stuff around the castle. But I knew as we were getting up here that the. Uh, I wasn't seeing. Oh, anyway, I've got as we were getting up here, and I wasn't seeing the mud because I'm like, there was mud. I know there was mud up here. So. Oh, friend to the left. Yeah, and I don't want to use. Uh... And boy, bees. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, meat though. Lots of good meat. Yeah, I. He's not a, not a hard one. No. Um, can we just collect the bees? Uh, they'll they'll thing us, right? Yeah. Oh. Well, they're stinging us anyway, and it all went downhill. Oh well. Sidetracked. <laughs> it's the name of the game. We haven't seen our, fav our favorite hot mess in a hot minute. No, you're right. We're not really going into unexplored territory very much anymore. We're kind of mm -hmm. revisiting many of the places that we've already been. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm sure that we will run into him at some point. Mm-hmm. But... Let's get some... Uh, yeah. Food stuff. That's the fire fruit, I mean... Whoa! Okay. What the, was that? The, the, oh, the attacking the, trees. The, yeah. The tree ants. I don't care. We'll just outrun them. Huh. Run, little foxy, run! So we definitely came this way uh, on our horse. And this oh. is where we ran into and start realized that we were on our way into the uh, the forest. Yeah. And remember, if you get off the path too much. Okay, so there's a bunch of wor 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 birds... But yeah, we don't know. Look for. It's trying to capture us. Yeah. So what is the trick? It's trying to capture us. So, okay. Uh, do I want to? I mean, a torch was the trick last time. 
True. I am fairly certain the torch is not the trick this time. In fact, we've been told as much. The torch is not the trick. But we don't know what is. Right. I don't know why I did that. To look at how fire reacts? Yeah. I mean, it seems like this is the right way. That's how we came in. Oh. You just turned around and you're going back out. Okay. As soon as you pass through that gate. Well, let's see what happens when I do get taken by the fog. Because it just puts you back at the beginning. Right. Right. So we're back here at the beginning. We didn't really go very far. Well, that didn't last very long. All right. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm doing... <laughs> Wasting time in hopes that you'll... Oh, I was trying to get some firewood from this through Yonobo's uh, thing, but that didn't work. Okay, let's sprint and go into here, and we're, yeah. I, I knew that was going to happen. Then why did you do it? I wanted to just see how far I could get. So, I mean, each of the three ways that we go... Well, no, you have to go through the gate... And then I think it you sort of inch forward and and yeah, I think it's a, a bit of inching forward a little bit in one way or another to figure out which way is the right way, and then once you figure out which way doesn't kill you. Then you can figure out every what way. Is. Every way kills me. If I go forward, it comes in. If I go this way, it comes in. Well, you're coming back out of the gate. Yeah. A little. So, yeah. <laughs> Could this, no, let's see, no, 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 why do I, why am I going to shields? I don't know. Well, and I just threw my, my eight folds blade, so there we go, there we go. Does that help? No. It does not. See, that was, does it help if I'm glowing? I doubt it, but I mean, I've got some glow elixir and some, I've got a lot of glow elixir, you know? Mm -hmm. So let's, let's make me glow. Glowy, glowy. I mean, I feel like we're somewhat Let's see, we're, we're, we're here, yeah. So I don't think it matters that I'm glowing because we still have the fog that comes takes us. Mm -hmm. Thoughts, ideas. I don't know. That looks like, that could, no, I was going to say, I thought that might be leaves that could burn, but no, it's not. There is something over here, but no, we don't make it. No, it was your, your sage standing there. Yes. Okay. So we've got a torch now. The, the trick last time 
was to look at where the embers were flying. And go towards the embers. Like they would go off to the right instead of going straight up like they are now. Yeah. I'm just catching everything on fire. Including yourself. But, I mean, it doesn't seem to... See, that was that kind of thing, when it's the embers flying, there was a path, and, the, and you could eventually stumble upon the right path. Right. It kind of doesn't feel like there is a path. I mean, every way I go <gasps> mm -hmm. is cutting me off. And you, you, know, you could brute force the path, I think, if you wanted to. Right. But it this feels like every but... single way I go is wrong. And that tells me it's not something that I'm, that there is no right or wrong way, but it's more about the, my state of being. Something that I have active or am doing. I uh, thought, well, maybe if I don't touch the ground. Yeah. Maybe I can fly from like ruin to ruin. Yeah. But. Well, try it again. Whoa. And actually land on top oh, of it. Oh, that's the moon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. Ah, shoot. You've got to actually, like, not fall off the wall. Yeah. I don't think that's it, but it's a good thought. The, yeah, it's the whole floor is lava mentality. Right. You know? I don't know. Because there's not any other uh, ruins that I feel like I could jump to from here. Right. So, what if... What if we need a Zonai device? Oh, that's a good thought. What if we need, like... I mean, it's very narrow here. But a, I, I don't know, like a, a Zonai sled? Could we could we use a sled across this terrain? Um, That's a good thought. Uh, or a motorcycle type of yeah. thing. Um, I, we've never built a motorcycle. So I think I'll want to try this. Uh, try that with like a trike maybe for balance. I don't, I don't know. A trike? Yeah. Give me three wheels? Uh-huh. Oh. I was just going to try to sled along the, the ground. Oh. Uh, with like a fan or something and a control stick. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, because this is narrow and nimble. I don't think that we could build like a cart. I don't I don't think the cart has much control. I don't know. We, we'll try it out. Yeah. Sure. I mean, Let's we've got out a, a bunch of them. Yeah, we do. Uh, whoops. Um, so let's just try the simple, put the steering stick on the cart, and then and, i got to get a fan. Move it through the gate before you get the whole thing built so that you know whether you can get it through the gate. Yeah. Okay. All right. It'll go. See, I don't feel like the cart has very much steering capability, but I've not tried, mm -hmm. so I don't really know. Um, fans. Okay, there's the fans. And we'll just try sticking a fan on there. I mean, this, this feels like it could very well be the right tactic. But no. Dang. We still got taken by the fog. Uh... Yeah, boy, that, that that seemed promising. Yeah. It seemed really promising to me. But it was going very fast. It was very hard to control. So, I, I don't know. How is this for cringy content? I mean, we're sitting here just pounding our head against this puzzle here trying to figure it out hmm. 
I'm try to fly over to those rocks. I mean, I made it to the rocks, but <laughs> I didn't get to stay. Yeah, I think the Zonai device is right. I think you need to try that again. I don't know why, but the whole game is based on Zonai devices now. Yeah, I mean, they're a very big part of the game, definitely. I mean, is it a matter of needing to fly in? Ah, see, I mean, I barely got inside and the fog took me, so yeah. it's not it. Um, I mean, we could try to get a flying device and just fly in. But I really don't think that's going to do it either. I think it, like... It's a dome, yeah. Yeah. And honestly, if we could fly in, then we could go up over here on this high cliff and, like, just glide in. Right. And I'm sure I'm sure that's not going to work. Right. Um, in terms of other Zonai devices, we have headlights. I do Doubt it would matter to put a head headlight on it, but I mean, maybe. Well, let's. Um, I wonder if I could try putting and it on my mirrors. shield. Mm, we got some mirrors, yeah. But I was thinking of maybe putting it on my shield so that as I'm, you know, sitting here, got my shield up that it's going to shine the, the headlight, maybe. Maybe. But I really, I don't think that, that doesn't feel right either. Mm -mm. And I don't think it matters to put it on my cart here. <laughs> but, you know, the idea of the headlight, um, you know, dispelling the fog is interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't matter. And now my my whole cart is basically too far away to get, but uh -huh. it's it's clearly not the right thing anyway. Hmm. Nor do I think it goes on my shield. I don't think that that's going to be sufficient. I mean, we could try um, some mirrors and, but. In order for the mirrors to work, we have to have a solid, you know, a right. really good source of light. And, I mean, and I guess a headlight? But All the way from outside, so. Yeah. I mean, we could do a head, headlight and that would make the mirror go, too. But what's the difference between a headlight into a mirror or just the headlight? Right. And there isn't a difference. So... I'm just trying to think of Zonai devices. Yeah, I mean, we really don't have... What is the construct head for? That will face an enemy. Ah. Uh, it's, a, it's a turret. Homing device. Yeah. We got wheels and frost emitter and flame emitter and bombs and balloon. I mean... We got all kinds of wonderful, cool things. But I don't feel like any of them are right. The hydrant just seems out there, but I feel like maybe trying it. I don't know. It's not but, like we're using them for anything else. True. I mean... I don't know. I don't know. I think we might have to come back to this in another episode. I feel stuck. Yeah. And um, I think we might have to look it up. We might. Because I don't know that there are any clues given in the game yeah. on how to do this. Yeah. You know, John said we should have immediately hopped on to Princess Zelda when we saw her after the, the final geoglyph. Uh, uh. And gotten the Master Sword there. 
So oh. now we now quote we got to go to the woods, which I was planning to go to the woods anyway. I figured we have to go in the end, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't have any good ideas on how to do this. Yeah, I don't either. And I don't I was, feel like I can figure it out on my own. Yeah, I was pretty sure, certain that the Zonai cart would work. That seemed like a really, really good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, well, what now? Uh, We've only got a few minutes left in this episode. Let's go to Lookout Landing. We had what I think might be a fairly quick quest there okay. about some voices in a tunnel. Oh, that's right. Yeah, let's and go do that. I feel like that's probably a really easy thing. Yeah, so. and that was really intriguing. And you guys don't know what we're talking about unless you've already played the game and and done this quest. Well, I don't know what's back there. <laughs> well, but they we didn't We didn't film get the that. quest on camera. Right. right. All right. Because you accidentally trigger, triggered it. Yeah, we were back here to do some cooking and accidentally triggered it. Um, everybody's looking up. Okay. So we found a person. Where did we find them? No. Right. Right. Right there. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So this quest... Uh, let's go to the quest log. And it's just a side quest. It's like Voices in the Dark or something like that. I guess that's Memories. Where is that at? I don't know. It's so hard to find things... It's not a shrine quest. Who goes there? A scary voice like a demon's coming from an opening in the wall. She's afraid she may have awakened a demon. So, we got a little hole right here. Let's go visit this demon. Royal Hidden Passage. Okay, well, we don't have Yanobo. Sadly. And there goes my well, looks like spiky ball it's hammer. It's to go around it, but it's probably got a hole there that yeah. you can't get through unless you break uh, the ball. ball get a... Oh, hear me. Hear me. I thought we could interact with it. There we go. Um, Sense me. Well, we can't get to that just yet either. Nope. I, I want to break that, not climb it. Oh, there's a lot of stone here. Okay, come Not to me. Jimmy. That's like a demon statue almost, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Ah, though there are some who still pay me homage. You can talk? You don't say. You can hear my voice. Uh-huh. Now that's a surprise. You What you weren't praying for? What, what were, what you, were praying? you praying for? Long life? Wealth like so many of your kind? Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power. That was me once. Alas, my life for many bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Halia. She turned me into this stone statue long, long ago. Even then, I continued my bargains as a statue in the village. Still, the goddess did not like what I was doing. Do you remember who this is now? I don't remember the name, but there was a dark statue near uh -huh. Patino. Uh-huh. I was banished from the main street to the outskirts of town, scorned and neglected. But that was not enough for her. 
Again I was sent away. I spent time trapped in a pond, with only fish for company. And finally, here. Perhaps another night. Another might have learned a lesson from this, but I have not. No, I have only been biding my time for the moment when someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. I'm sure we can reach a beneficial arrangement. I have dealt only with fish for too long. And fish make terrible deals. <laughs> right. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Hold still and don't fret. I'll take care of everything. This won't hurt a bit. Hmm. Oh. It took a... something. It took a heart. Bah-ha-ha. -ha. My touch is as subtle as ever. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. Okay, so we started a deal with the statue. Well, now what? You. Give it back. I want that back. Bahaha. -ha. Did you think I deceived you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So, which will it be? Do we want the heart back? I think we do. I think so. A wise choice. Now remain still. Hey, we got healed up too. Nice. <laughs> You look skeptical, not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. If you're ready to begin, then first you must sell me either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price in rises to 120 rupees. Before you cry foul, know that you may choose which one I return to you, a heart container or a stamina vessel. I'm eager to help tamper with your essence any time you want to return and pray here. Okay, that's what I was remembering that it did. Yeah, basically so. you can exchange a stamina for a heart or a heart for a stamina if you change your mind on which you want for a I wish I had you Nobo here so I didn't like waste the durability on my camera. And that's all I got. So, I mean, I've got a few more you things. Honestly, I don't have a lot of weapons. <laughs> you got a box on a stick. Yeah, I got an iron box hammer, so we'll use that up. This said, royal, well, that's all there is. <laughs> you know what? Um, this said, like, Royal Tunnel or something like that. So, where are they at? Bombs. There you go. Shoot an arrow at it. Yeah. I don't know. I've only got a few of those. But it did a lot. And I've got some rocks that I can put onto something. But I don't, like I said, I don't have a lot of. Use your that's, sword. See, but I that's guess. a pristine sword. I don't. Yeah, but you can destroy the. The fused object. It looks like you just need one or two more hits. I don't know about I don't that. Know. I think it's got a lot of hits. Well, then use another bomb. Yeah. <clears throat> There okay. you go. 
Oh, we could do bomb arrows. Bomb flowers. Bomb flowers yeah. on arrows. That is something I've got a lot of. Yeah. There you go. If I can find it. Bomb flower. There we there go. We go. 102. So, uh, oh, yeah. dang it. Well, pooey patooey. <laughs> I was going to say you might want to stand back, but I couldn't say it before you did it. Oh, boy. Stand back. I was back. I was back. Backer. <laughs> More backer. More backer. Nope. More backer. That one actually gets out into a cave, it looks like. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I wonder if this is like an, an easy way to, or, well, a way to get into the castle. I don't know. So... Oh, now we've got the sages. Where's your Nobo? Perfect. Lots of great hits there. Yeah. Doing exactly what you want. Yep. All right. Well, that's as far as this one goes. Yes. And as far as we go in this episode. Oh, go down the other <laughs> tunnel. There. That's uh, as far as we go uh, in this episode. <laughs> fine. Oh, oh hey. What do you bet there's a, a froggy thingy in here? Nope. Ooh, a hearty truffle. Nice. Yeah, just lots of good food. We'll definitely have to cut, remember this and come back here after the next Blood Moon. Yeah. All right. Well, for now, I guess that's where we're going to call it an episode. Continue okay. on down this this uh, tunnel in the next episode and see where it goes. But uh, it does look like it's going toward Hyrule Castle. So, mm-hmm. There's right. Unobo. There's Unobo, finally. <laughs> yeah, big guy. All right, well, remember, until next time, be excellent to each other. We're out. <laughs>